another Wiki Wednesday here in Pupper Pie Land. Do all of you feel like we're getting smarter together? Because I know I do. Maybe I'll get as smart as our swimming animal for today, the dolphin. Dolphins used to be my mommy's favorite animal, but not anymore. That's me, of course. Let's learn about them together. You can find the link for Kittle, the kids' encyclopedia, below. This was a long article, so my daddy helped me trim it a little to make it more interesting for you. Dolphin Facts for Kids Though dolphins were once thought to be fish, they are now known to be mammals, and quite intelligent ones at that. Dolphins breathe air. A dolphin's nose is on top of its head, so the dolphin can easily breathe on the surface of the water. The skin of a dolphin has no scales. It is soft and smooth. However, it is very firm due to how much muscle they have. Dolphins use echolocation to find their food. A bottlenose dolphin is the most well-known type of dolphin. Anatomy. Dolphins have conical shaped teeth. Their teeth are used to catch swift prey such as fish, squid, or large mammals such as seal. I use my teeth for catching swift prey too, like tennis balls and mommy's slippers. Breathing involves expelling stale, stale air from their blowhole, forming an upward steamy spout, following by inhaling fresh air into the lungs. However, this only occurs in the polar regions of the oceans. Dolphins have rather small, unidentifiable spouts. For some reason, Mommy said, there she blows, when I read that. She's silly. All dolphins have a thick layer of blubber thickness varying on climate. This blubber can help with buoyancy, protection to some extent as predators would have a hard time getting through a thick layer of fat and energy for leaner times. The primary usage for blubber is insulation from the harsh climate. Hey, our seal friends had blubber too. Locomotion. Dolphins have two flippers on the underside toward the head, a dorsal fin and a tail fin. Dolphins are fairly fast swimmers. Dolphins swim by moving their tail fin and rear body vertically, while their flippers are mainly used for steering. All species have a dorsal fin to prevent themselves from involuntarily spinning in the water. I can only doggy paddle, and it's hard work. Senses. The dolphin ear has specific adaptations to the marine environment. Instead of sound passing through the outer ear to the middle ear, dolphins receive sound through the throat, from which it then passes through a fat-filled cavity to the inner ear. The dolphin ear is acoustically isolated from the skull by air-filled sinus pockets, which allow for greater directional hearing underwater. Dolphins send out high-frequency clicks from an organ known as a melon, this allows dolphins to produce biosonar for orientation. Beyond locating an object, echolocation also provides the animal with an idea on an object's shape and size. Though how exactly this works is not yet understood. The dolphin eye is relatively small for its size, yet they do retain a good degree of eyesight. As well as this, the eyes of a dolphin are placed on the sides of its head, so their vision consists of two fields rather than a binocular view like humans have. Their eye anatomy allows for large amounts of light to pass through the eye and therefore a very clear image of the surrounding area. Social behavior. Dolphins are highly social animals, often living in pods of up to a dozen individuals. Though pod sizes and structures vary greatly between species and locations. In places with a high abundance of food, pods can merge temporarily, forming a super pod. Such groupings may exceed 1,000 dolphins. Membership in pods is not rigid. Interchange is common. Dolphins can, however, establish strong social bonds. They will stay with injured or ill individuals, even helping them to breathe by bringing them to the surface if needed. This altruism does not appear to be limited to their own species. The dolphin Moko in New Zealand has been observed guiding a female pygmy sperm whale 
together with her calf, out of the shallow water where they had been stranded several times. They have also been seen protecting swimmers from sharks by swimming circles around the swimmers or charging the sharks to make them go away. I wonder if they ever consider barking at the sharks to scare them away. Dolphins also display culture, something long to be believed to be unique to humans. In May 2005, a discovery in Australia found Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins teaching their young to use tools. They cover their snouts with sponges to protect them while foraging. Using sponges as mouth protection is a learned behavior. Feeding. Various methods of feeding exist among and within species, some apparently exclusive to a single population. Fish and squid are the main food, but the false killer whale and the orca also feed on other marine mammals. Orcas on occasion also hunt whale species larger than themselves. One common feeding method is herding, where a pod squeezes a school of fish into a small volume known as a bait ball. Individual members then take turns plowing through the ball, feeding on the stunned fish. Corralling is a method where dolphins chase fish into shallow water to catch them more easily. Orcas and bottlenose dolphins have also been known to drive their prey onto a beach to feed on it, a behavior known as beach or strand feeding. Some species also whack fish with their flukes, stunning them and sometimes knocking them out of the water. Vocalizations. Dolphins are capable of making a broad range of sounds using nasal air sacs located just below the blowhole. Roughly three categories of sounds can be identified. Frequency modulated whistles, burst pulse sounds, and clicks. The clicks are directional and are for echolocation, often occurring in a short series called, called a trick, click train. The click rate increases when approaching an object of interest. Dolphin echolocation clicks are among the loudest sounds made by marine mammals. My bark is even louder though, I bet. Bottlenose dolphins have been found to have signature whistles, a whistle that is unique to a specific individual. These whistles are used in order for dolphins to communicate with one another by identifying an individual. It can be seen as the dolphin equivalent of a name for humans. These signature whistles are developed during a dolphin's first year. It continues to maintain the same sound throughout its lifetime. Dolphins are able to communicate to one another by addressing another dolphin through mimicking their whistle. Bottlenose dolphins have a strong memory when it comes to these signature whistles, as they are able to relate to a signature whistle of an individual they have not encountered for over 20 years. Jumping and playing. Dolphins frequently leap above the water surface, this being done for various reasons. When traveling, jumping can save the dolphin energy as there is less friction while in the air. This type of travel is known as porpoising. Other reasons include orientation, social displays, fighting, nonverbal communication, entertainment, and attempting to dislodge parasites. I mostly jump on daddy to get me, him to pick me up. Dolphins show various types of playful behavior, often including objects, self-made bubble rings, other dolphins, or other animals. When playing with objects or small animals, common behavior includes carrying the object or animal along using various parts of the body, passing it along to other members of the group, or taking it from another member, or throwing it out of the water. Playful behavior that involves another animal species with active participation of the other animal can also be observed, however. Playful human interaction with dolphins being the most obvious example. However, playful interactions have been observed in the wild with a number of other species as well, such as humpback whales and dogs. Okay, we need to stop here. Dolphins play with dogs? Mommy, I really need some dolphin friends, please. Intelligence. Dolphins are known to teach, cooperate, scheme, and grieve. 
Self-awareness is seen by some to be a sign of highly developed abstract thinking. Self-awareness, though, not well defined scientifically, is believed to be the precursor to more advanced processes like thinking about thinking that are typical of humans. Research in this field has suggested that cetaceans possess self-awareness. The most widely used test for self-awareness in animals is the mirror test, in which a temporary dye is placed on an animal's body, and the animal is then presented with a mirror. They have to see if the, mir- if the animal shows signs of self-recognition. Dolphins have passed the mirror test. I just bark at that other puppy in the mirror. He will not come and play with me. Relationships with humans in history and religion. Dolphins have long played a role in human culture. Dolphins are sometimes used as symbols, for instance, in heraldry. In Greek myths, dolphins were seen invariably as helpers of humankind. Dolphins are common in Greek mythology, and many coins from ancient Greece have been found which feature a man, a boy, or a deity riding on the back of a dolphin. The ancient Greeks welcomed dolphins. Spotting dolphins riding in a ship's wake was considered a good omen. In both ancient and later art, Cupid is often shown riding a dolphin. Dionysus was once captured by Etruscan pirates who mistook him for a wealthy prince they could ransom. After the ship set sail, Dionysus invoked his divine powers, causing vines to overgrow the ship where the masts and sails had been. He turned the oars into serpents, so terrifying the sailors had to jump overboard. But Dionysus took pity on them and transformed them into dolphins so that they would spend their lives providing help for those in need. Dolphins were also the messengers of Poseidon and sometimes did errands for him as well. Dolphins were sacred to both Aphrodite and Apollo. When heraldry developed in the Middle Ages, Not much was known about the biology of the dolphin, and it was often depicted as a sort of fish. Traditionally, the stylized dolphin in heraldry may still take after this notion, sometimes showing the dolphin skin covered with fish scales. I can understand why they used to be Mommy's favorite. Mommy just has to introduce me to a dolphin now. I'd even go in the water to play with one. I especially like how they look out for each other, and even people who are in trouble. Mommy and Daddy do that for me when I try to get into trouble. Thanks for listening to me today. I'll see you next week when we talk about another swimming animal, and stay tuned for a new story on Fiction Friday!